guys, what's up? Roger here and welcome to 10 Mile Creations. Now today I'm going to show you how I use ChatGPT to set my pricing on my 3D prints and to generate my listings. So this is a product that I just put up on my Etsy. I um, actually, I think I did use the calculator I'm pretty sure I did. I generally don't come up with uh, prices without it. But um, let's go through how I come to that conclusion. So the first thing you need to do is in your slicer, you need to screenshot this window. So after you slice, it's going to give you this report. And I use AI to actually look at this image and it reads all the data off of it. So let's first just go over to chat GPT and we'll go to my custom GPT, this one over here is called 3D Print Pricing Calculator, okay? And let me move me out of the way here a little bit. Move me up here. So let's um, let's click on the add the attachment. We're gonna upload from computer. We're gonna take that screenshot that we have. We're gonna upload it. Now I can specify some other conditions. So if I have parts, if I have labor, if I have design time, all that can be calculated in and I can do that kind of on the fly. I don't know why, but for some reason, me being up there is annoying me. So I'm going to put me back. Um, so yeah, I can calculate all that in just by telling chat, chat GTP it, if I have GPT, if I have labor. Um, in this case, I'm going to tell it that I don't have any labor. It's going to assume that I don't have any design time or any of that stuff. But all of that can be dialed in if it needs to. Now, generally, if it's a product that I develop to put on Etsy, I'm not going to calculate in for design time. I'm not going to calculate in for uh, labor, any of that. Um, but if it was a local job, let's say a client came in and they needed something produced, then a lot of that would come into play also uh failure rate there's a lot of stuff it can calculate for but most of that i don't do when it comes to etsy so let's just say no labor and boom we'll fire it off so it's going to read from that image it's going to figure out how much material i used you can see material cost at uh, three cents per gram Machine hour rate at five dollars an hour, the profit margin at fifty percent, and Etsy fees at ten percent. So here's my inputs from my screenshot. The filament is forty three point five five grams. Uh, we had one hour and five minutes, so rounded to one point zero eight hours, and then it'll do the total cost. So material cost of one thirty one, machine cost at five dollars and forty two cents. Total cost of material and machine cost is six dollars and seventy-two cents. Uh, price with a fifty percent profit margin would be ten oh eight, and a final price including the ten percent Etsy fee would be eleven oh nine. So we see we're right at around eleven bucks for that print. That includes a, the ten percent with an Etsy fee. So it's six point five percent Etsy fee, but an additional three percent with processing fees and with smaller items it can be three percent plus 25 plus 25 cents so i just rounded that to 10 percent, which makes a nice round number uh let me see so this is a suggested sale price for this item let me know if you have any further adjustments or additional calculations so there you go so it should be around 11 dollars. now one thing it doesn't calculate for and that is shipping i have a shipping situation on my Etsy, if they were to purchase, um, if they are to purchase multiple items that add up to thirty dollars, they get free shipping. So that's something I need to keep in mind when I am doing uh, these listings. If they buy a single one, they pay for shipping and completion. You know, totally. Uh, in this case, something like this would probably be about four bucks in shipping, so they're gonna have twenty bucks in this total thing. Um, if if they buy multiples or they buy something that is uh, totaling in $30, they're going to get free shipping. So I do need to dial in a little bit 
to cover that shipping. Maybe 50% of the shipping cost because if they buy two things, it's 30 bucks. Then, you know, I'm not really sure the best way to figure that out. But um, basically what I do is I just dial in a little bit of shipping cost. And that's why, you know, here it's 11 bucks, but on Etsy I have it set to 15. So there we go. So another thing, uh, Etsy Listing Assistant is another thing I created. So what is the Etsy Listing Assistant? Well, I can give it basic, just very basic information, and it will generate a listing for me. So I made some, uh, let me see, what would it be? I made some, um, what do we want to tell it we made? Uh, drink coasters that look like snowflakes. They get five of them and they are made of PLA. Boom. All right, now it's going to use that very basic amount of information to create an Etsy listing, primarily focusing on SEO. And let's just see what it did. So here's my title, set of five snowflake coasters, elegant winter decor, PLA drink coasters, unique Christmas gift. Pretty good. All right, add a touch of winter magic to your table, these five snowflake drink coasters. These beautifully designed coasters are crafted from eco-friendly PLA, showcasing intricate snowflake patterns to bring a cozy festive vibe to your home. You get the idea. Now down here in features, it kind of breaks down some features. Perfect for and gives some examples of why you might want to use these coasters. On top of that, it does generate the 13 tags that you can add to the Etsy listing, limiting to 20 characters per tag. And it is comma delimited, that way I can just copy, paste, and I'm done. So that is how I generate my Etsy listings. Now, as great as all that is, unless you promote on Etsy, you're not going to sell nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So be sure that after you've done all this due diligence that you promote your item to get it at the top of that search criteria. And then obviously this product needs to be something that people are actually searching for. So if you create a widget that no one's looking for, you're not going to sell it. All right, guys, that's it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And uh, these are not public. Unfortunately, you have to be a chat GP subscriber if I can't remember what they call it like a premium or whatever and uh, only subscribers of chat GPT could get access to these and if that's something you guys are subscribers and you're interested in access to this let me know and we might be able to work something out all right later